What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm happy to bring you guys the updated iOS 8.3 jailbreak guide. So today, there have been a couple of developments. For one, Taiji has released a new version of their jailbreak. So this is Taiji 2.1.0. This includes Cydia Substrate, so you guys can now install tweaks. You're no longer limited to just an empty Cydia. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to one, either jailbreak iOS 8.3 from scratch, or two, how to install Cydia Substrate on an already jailbroken device and update Cydia. So also I'm going to be showing you guys how to update Cydia, which is crucial for uh, any errors you guys might have been having. So if you guys were unsuccessful in the previous video on jailbreaking iOS 8.3, this video will fix all of your woes. It has an updated version of Taiji of Cydia and Cydia Substrate. So let's go ahead and get started. Now for one, I'm on iOS 8.3 on my iPhone 6 and I've got the latest version of Taiji. Now if you guys are already jailbroken with my previous video, there's an easier way of you guys going about installing Cydia Substrate. So just to show you guys, I do have it installed right here on this guy, Cydia Substrate, and this is on the latest 8.3 jailbreak on my iPhone 5. So all you guys need to do is go ahead and click on the link down below in the description or right there, and it will link you guys to the latest version of Cydia Substrate. Make sure to load it from your device. So once you do load the link, this will come up. All you guys need to do is go ahead and open up an iFile. And actually, I forgot to mention, you guys do need to install iFile. So all you need to do is uh, go over here to iFile, download iFile, and it'll say you can't do it, just install it, install it, don't worry about it. Now in the future, there will be a Taiji package in Cydia in a few hours here, so it'll be a lot simpler, but right now, just click on the link, you know, open an iFile, and then on that link, you wanna go ahead and uh, click on it and select installer. So it'll go ahead and install and you should get a finish with result code zero. Go ahead and restart your device. It'll appear with a very interesting blue screen. Uh, it'll look like it's crashing, but it's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. And then you guys will be able to go ahead and install Cydia Tweaks because you now have Cydia Substrate. So that's what you guys need to do if you're already jailbroken. Now, if you're not jailbroken, if you wanna start from fresh, this is what we need to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Now on my device, there's a few things I need to go ahead and do. So first off, go into Touch ID and Passcode and disable a passcode or Touch ID settings. This will interfere with the jailbreak. Also go into iCloud, signed out of iCloud, remove Find My iPhone. This is crucial. So you want to make sure these two things are done and then go ahead and enter airplane mode. If your memory is full, you guys want to make sure to clear up some data. You don't want to have a completely full device being jailbroken. That's not good for it. Otherwise, let's go ahead and plug this guy in and head over to our computer. Now, first things first, make sure this computer is trusting the iPhone. So go ahead and trust on both guys. You want iTunes to go ahead and allow trust. Now, I just want to let you guys know iTunes does not need to be downgraded with this version of uh, Taiji, but if you guys are having problems getting stuck, I would recommend following the guide. Go ahead and uninstall iTunes and install the 12.0.1 version I have linked down below. Now, you guys will need two files. All the download links can be found right here or down below in the description. And the links for iTunes 32 and 64 bit will be in there as well. So, this is the latest version of Taiji. And, um, you know, go ahead and extract it, download it to your desktop. It'll look just like this. Now, right click on it, select Run as Administrator. And yes, this is still limited to Windows at the moment. All right. So, with a trusted device connected to your computer, you'll get this screen right here. And in a moment here, we should locate our device. Now, if you guys are wondering why jailbreak, I wanna go ahead and link this video right here. Uh, there's 25 reasons on why you should jailbreak iOS 8. A lot of good stuff in there. Uh, if you're wondering why jailbreak in this day and age with iOS 9 coming, there's still a lot of compelling reasons. So be sure to check that out. Now, if you're not getting recognized, uh, like I am right here, go ahead and unplug it replug it and uh, Taiji should recognize it here in a moment. All right, so you'll be prompted with this screen right here. It'll ask you to go ahead and install Cydia and this bottom little application right here. So this just installs a third party app store. You wanna go ahead and uncheck that. And I know the program is in Chinese. When an English version is released, I'll post that down below in the description. But for now, just bear with me. I mean, there's only one button you gotta press, but anyways, we're all set to go. Start the jailbreak, go ahead and click the green button. So now you'll be giving this progress bar. And again, if you guys get stuck at any point, you guys want to uninstall iTunes and any program associated with iTunes, there will be a guide down below in the description and go ahead and install the custom version I have linked in the description down below. 
that'll fix any woes for people that are getting stuck at 20, 40, 60%. Uh, otherwise, most of the time, as long as you guys have done all the steps in this video, you will finish it successfully. I mean, this is the latest version of Taiji, it's been updated, so uh, you'll be good, trust me. Anyways, so I'm gonna sit tight here, uh, make sure this does follow through, this works. And uh, you know, don't click anything on your device, just leave it be. Let the process do its thing. If it sits at 20%, you know, just let it sit there. As you can see, it does stay there for uh, quite a bit. I wanted to answer a couple questions. In this latest version of Taiji, it will be a lot better experience with Cydia. You'll experience less crashing and overall it will be more stable because Cydia has been updated twice today. So you're getting best of both worlds. And again, if you guys are already jailbroken, uh, there's an easier way to do this. But if you want to re-jailbreak it, this is how you would go about doing it. Now, does jailbreaking ruin your battery and uh, answer to that is no it does not unless you guys are installing a ton and a ton of jailbreak tweaks you guys will be fine I mean in some cases you can even improve the battery life with the jailbreak using certain tweaks and when it comes to tweaks guys trust me I will be posting many videos starting tomorrow on the tweaks there's just too many to talk about now that there are possibilities with Cydia substrate and there will be many more coming but again uh, a lot of the tweaks that you guys are used to will not be updated for 8.3 just yet. You know, give the developers a little bit of time and eventually it will be updated on all of the individual tweaks. So in a moment here, uh, we should have Cydia on our device and uh, I'll go ahead and slide to unlock and there it is. So Cydia will take a few moments right now to go ahead and set up the file system. You don't need Wi-Fi for this part, but make sure you do have Wi-Fi enabled for the next part. And I, once this is finished up, I will be right back. And I just wanted to add, if you guys are doing a fresh jailbreak or if you just restored and you're jailbreaking again, you don't have to do that iFile method I just showed you in the beginning. That's only for people that are previously jailbroken. And if you're previously jailbroken and still watching, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the latest version of City as well, which you do want. Um, otherwise, it's a very simple process. Once this is done, you guys will be almost completely done with this jailbreak and you'll be ready to go ahead and install City at weeks. All right, and uh, all the files have been set up. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. You can go ahead and sign into iCloud, set your Touch ID password again. You don't need to keep it off for the jailbreak. And for the people wondering if this jailbreak will affect anything on their device, no, this will not affect anything unless you install things for it to affect. I mean, a lot of people are wondering, will it cancel messages or phone service? And no, why would it? I mean, that's just ridiculous. But anyways, go into changes, go to refresh. And we're gonna see a new Cydia update package in here once this is finished. And this is crucial. You wanna go ahead and update to it as fast as possible because Taiji does install an older version of Cydia. So uh, as you can see, we have two crucial upgrades. Go ahead and confirm. And again, this is something you definitely want to do as soon as possible because it will prevent a lot of headaches and crashing in the future. All right, and guys, there you have it. You are now updated on the latest version of Cydia, Cydia Substrate and the latest Taiji Untethers. So go ahead and explore the world of jailbreaking. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have a ton of videos about jailbreak tweaks. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the research for the latest and greatest for you guys. And right now, again, there is not much support for Cydia tweaks. So if you find that some of your favorite tweaks inside of Cydia don't have support, that's because the developer has not added it yet. And you know, be patient. Over the next couple of weeks, there's gonna be a lot of updates to all of the packages inside of Cydia. And one more thing, this does void your warranty. I mean, everybody knows that, but you can easily revert a jailbreak. So if you need to go in for service for Apple, you can easily restore, and there will be no trace of this jailbreak ever on your device. So easy stuff, guys. You are now fully jailbroken on the latest version of iOS 8.3. Now as for 8.4, and the future of the jailbreak. I'm gonna have an update on that very soon. Otherwise, enjoy this jailbreak right now. You know, be sure to install some tweaks once they are available. Have a great day, guys. Peace.